Is your Nest camera showing a blue light and not responding to your commands from the Google Home app? Tune in and stick around till the end of this video to clearly understand what your camera is trying to tell you with the blue light and how you can fix the same. A blue light for Nest cameras usually indicates a connection status. A slow, pulsing blue light indicates that the camera is in pairing mode and is ready to connect to your Google Home app. This usually happens when you're setting up your camera for the first time with your Google Home app or if you have reset the camera to its factory defaults. A fast, pulsing blue light indicates that the camera is trying to connect to your saved network. A blue light should signify the same across all Nest camera models barring a few legacy devices. For the Nest Camera IQ models, both indoor and outdoor, if the LED light pulses blue, it indicates that the camera is completely set up and is waiting for input from the Nest app. Also, for the first gen Nest Cam indoor, a blue light indicates that the camera is booting up. Now that you know what exactly your camera is trying to convey to you, let's move on to applying the appropriate fixes. For the slow pulsing blue light, the fix is very simple. Since it indicates that the camera is ready to pair, all you need to do is pair it with the Google Home app on your phone. If you already have your camera paired prior, remove it from your Google Home app. Open the Google Home app, tap on your camera, access its settings tab and select remove device. Then just set up the camera once again to your Google Home app. Tap on the Devices tab on the bottom toolbar of the app and tap on Add Device. Follow through with the instructions and pair your camera with your Wi-Fi. And your camera light should shift from blue to green. When it comes to your Nest camera pulsing blue a bit faster, you need to take a look at your internet connection. Since this type of blue light indicates that your camera is having trouble connecting to your saved network, make sure that your camera is in range of your Wi-Fi router. If you have coverage issues, I recommend that you get a Wi-Fi extender or a mesh network to further enhance your signal. I also recommend that you stick to a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network instead of relying on the newer 5 GHz Wi-Fi even though it offers better speeds as the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network offers better coverage leading to less signal drops. If your save network is already a 5 GHz Wi-Fi and you want to switch over to the 2.4 GHz one, you need to once again remove the camera from the Google Home app and set it up again from scratch. Just make sure to select the desired 2.4 GHz network during the initial setup and you're good to go. Once you fix your network, I recommend that you take a look at your Google Home app as well. If your camera is having trouble connecting to your Google Home app, that could result in the camera pulsing blue as well. Now, you need not necessarily be connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your Nest camera. You will still need solid internet access for the Google Home app to properly function. I recommend that you check the internet speeds of your network from your phone and make sure that your access and your usability of the Google Home app is solid. With your network and your Google Home app patched up, you should no longer have issues with blue light on your Nest camera. I hope that this video has helped you and do comment your thoughts below after giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more Nest camera content like this.